USA announces $5 million reward for info on the murder of atheist writer. On December 20th, the U.S. Department of State's Diplomatic Security Service, with its Rewards for Justice Office, offered a $5 million reward for information on the terrorist attack and murder of Avijit Roy. Roy was a naturalized U.S. citizen originally from Bangladesh. He was an engineer by profession and founded the blog uh, Mukto Mona, or translation, Free Mind, in 2000 to promote secular and humanist writings in Bangladesh. He was murdered on February 26, 2015, in an, at an annual book affair in Dhaka. Roy and his wife were attacked by a group of people armed with machetes, leaving Roy dead and his wife severely injured. The person who led the attack, former Army Major Syed uh, Zio Haq, is still on the run. Another fugitive involved in the murder is Akram Hussein. Four others were charged and sentenced to death, with one sentenced to life in prison. More information about the reward can be found at uh, rewardsforjustice.net. Wow. I'm so glad they're taking this so seriously. Yeah. I think people um, forget that he was, you know, a U.S. citizen. Um, usually they just mm -hmm. refer to him as Bangladeshi. I mean, he was Bangladeshi, um, but it's it's cool to... Um, well, I mean what it's not it's not cool that you have to be i mean i'm glad that american like this shows the value of an american citizenship well that's this basically shows, what i was saying yeah because i mean yeah i mean it's this, cool this but it's shows, unfortunate is is i mean i wish like other countries took protection of their citizens this seriously you know what i mean like no no i, I haven't seen any examples like of any country going so, so above and beyond making in protecting their citizens the way United States does, right? Some countries, even like Iran, for example, uh, take, adva take advantage of the fact that they care less about their citizens than other countries. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when, when you have dual citizenship of United States and Iran, then Iran will just like take you hostage because they don't care about their, the fact that you're an Iranian citizen, but they know that United States cares about the fact that you're an American citizen. So mm -hmm. they rely on the fact that they don't care about you, and that America does care about you, to use you as a way to, as a, as a piece, as a negotiating piece in, in trying to get money from United States or like some um, advantage over United States. But this is the level of care that United States has for its citizen, which is so good to see, but it's unfortunate that you have to be an American citizen for you to get for your for your life to matter this much, right? So it's, I think it's I don't know, yeah. as much as we say that, like we have to um acknowledge how badly the US failed in protecting US citizens in Af Afghanistan, like very recently. Like that was a major blight on the history and that claim that we normally make and i'm not even like right. gonna get into how we failed our allies there right because that's a whole step that like, was yeah that was that was not by design though that was negligence uh, to me it doesn't matter no it does matter it does matter because um i'm not excusing it what matters is that you could see what the goals because if it's something was on purpose or not on purpose it shows the direction that the country is trying to take and what's what what the goals are at least like mm -hmm. i'm not saying it should be excuse i'm not saying a, a negligence should be excused but i'm saying that if you try if you see if something was by design or by negligence you could at least see what the aims of a country is that does yes. matter that that should be part of the calculation oh i don't know I, that whole situation pisses me off but that's not the topic yeah. of this conversation yeah. okay, okay um so but Shuvo was bringing up two very good points. Shuvo was saying, why so late? It took them this long? And this is a question that I had as well. Like, why six years later? Why six years later? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what, what was going on behind the scenes to make this happen six years later? And I haven't been able to find, like, any good information about the motivation of why now. Shuvo was also maybe, saying, if Avijit maybe. was born in the States... Would it take this long for such a decision to take place? Basically saying if he was born in the U.S. instead of being born in Bangladesh and then becoming a U.S. citizen, would it have taken this long? 
I have a guess. I don't know if this is true, but maybe the reason why they're now doing this is maybe because they're investigating. This is when their investigation hit hit a brick wall. Mm. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe they were trying to figure it out, and like now they got to a point where they are where they realize that they're not going to get anything else, and that's when they th that's when they put out rewards. When they when they are when it's very certain clear to them that they're not going to get any further themselves maybe that's mm -hmm. why yeah it's really um it's i don't know i appreciate that you know our country is my country is um taking this incident so seriously i wish something was done sooner and maybe the delay was partially because i know that his killers were the ones that have been tried were sentenced to death like within the past year past year and a half so maybe to some extent they were waiting for things to run their course in bangladesh to see how things would go but part of the issue with the trial that um was th that was underwent for um his murderers is that um the organizer one of the organizers known as major zia um were tried in absentia meaning they weren't actually part of the trial they were tried while missing they've never been ascertained um so that's obviously a huge failure in the proceedings that happened in Bangladesh. But I do find it interesting that Bangladesh itself sentenced the murderers to death. Yeah, Bangladesh government is at least uh, so secure. That, that being said, we do not support the death penalty in any case. So I have to um, make sure we say that. Um, yeah, but but when people say like, why wasn't this done earlier? It's not like they just this is the solution to everything at all times. It's not like every time a crime happens, people are like, oh, here's a reward for info on the murder. Like they usually like like other ways are tried first before rewards are handed out. Like that's why you don't hear a a reward for you know info on murderers like for every all the time like that's why you see it that's why it's they're so rare because i don't think that it's a it's very so that might explain the delay i, I right? think you're on to something it is often the line of last offense yeah yeah um i hope it, it, it results in something and it, if it doesn't result in anything i hope the fact that this reward is out there makes the person who's responsible for this murder live the rest of his life in stress um that's what True. i hope for yeah so um nope. the feds are coming after you no <laughs> yeah but i also like that i don't like the messaging i don't like to think about the fact that people feel like next time we go after a blasphemer let's make sure they're not american i think about Mm. how unfortunate yeah no like, that's very true that's really unfortunate yeah i want to um i actually want to make an effort to go read some of his writings like go go find what he wrote and and popularize you know what he unintentionally gave his life for i think that's important particularly because i have taken an interest in south asian atheists recently Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.